just getting good. So this is what Team Rickshaw have been doing since you saw us on Friday at Larn here. So we saw it Friday morning, start the Giants course. We came all the way down here. You saw us here. We then got on a ferry and Team Rickshaw then pedaled the Rickshaw whilst on board the ferry all the way across here. We then got into Stranraw, up to Dumfries, all the way down to Kendall, and then 68 miles all the way down here has brought Team Rickshaw here. But the question is, how far away are they? Well, thank you very much indeed. We can say goodbye to our uh, lovely cowardly lion in the walking map. And joining us this evening for all of these festivities is two local lads who were well, hail from this part of the world. It is indeed world-renowned singer Alfie Bo and boxing superstar Amir Khan. Alfie, hello. Amir, welcome. So, goodness me, I tell you what, they are such a lovely bunch where you come from. What a reception, what a reception. Oh, the great people, we love the people in Bolton and yeah. uh, the get behind you, the great. Now part of what's going on tonight, you can't even hear me, can you? Part of what's going on tonight uh, is you're going to be turning on the lights here. So have you done this before, Amir? I've done it before, yes, I have. I've done it before in Bolton and it's a great honour to do it again. Is I'm it? looking forward to it, yeah, definitely. It's great. Really great to do it in front of these many people. Sure, sure. Yeah. And we're also going to be, so you're going to sing for us as I well, Alfie. What are you going to sing? I'm going to sing a song called Trust, which is the title track off my new album. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I did offer to do a duet with Amir, but he's, he's back town. So. You're kidding! Uh, back listen, I can't, uh, I I can't we, sing, we I can't sing. I mean, I'm only hey. good at the boxing. Listen, but. we're here he for children in need. Rounds, I said no. Yeah, I well, we might, we're here for children in need, so we might be able to set something up. Better yeah, sing we, it. Might set something up we might have to put their fight on between us, but yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll try my best, but I'm not the best singer. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, as well as that, we have got the uh, very moving story. <laughs> your stomping ground so we thought we'd um, ask you to help us to get the yeah. crowd texting so can you do some yeah. sort of trash talk let's do that hey guys <laughs> i think you should get your phones out and text team to 70705 so text team t-e-a-m to 70705 all right you gonna do that there you go look it's about there's about 5,000 people out there, so we might get 25 grand. Yeah. Oh, you never know, there's a lot of people out there, but I'm sure you'll, they'll be generous and they'll text team yeah. to 70705. They're screaming too much, they can't even hear what you're saying. It's so loud, isn't but it? Also, yeah. imagine if everybody at home does the same right now. Imagine how much we'd raise in this just half an hour. Well, that's it. Shall we find out how much we've raised so far? Go on. Now, Alfie, I was yes. amazed to hear that you are actually a, a proper drummer. I can play the drums, yeah. You I'm, can't, not, I'm not right. very good, but I can play. <laughs> We're about to find Find out. Will you give us a drum roll, drum and we roll. will then reveal the total so far. So, in your own drum rolling time. <laughs> oh, it's good. Here we go. Off we go. It is two hundred and twenty-six thousand three hundred and fifty-seven pounds. Thank you very much, and thanks for getting your three the right way around eventually, sir. <laughs> marvelous, marvelous. That's a good start, Listen, eh? thank you to everybody who has donated. So far, and for everybody who hasn't, well, just take a moment, There's pick up the phone. There's still plenty of time, yes. Now, yes. speaking of making large donations, Amir, you have put quite a lot of money, haven't you, yeah. into the uh, into the local area with gloves, the community centre. That's right, yeah, you know, I wanted to give something back to Bolton, so I, made, I, put, I, I bought a boxing gym, yeah. I converted it into a community centre, I get a lot of kids coming there, hundreds of kids coming there a week, keeps the kids off the streets, gives them, gets them involved in boxing, uh, gets them involved in different activities. Yeah. Uh, I also have a homework club there for the kids so they can do the homework there. Not everyone oh, can really? afford computers, yeah. All right. So they can sit there, do the homework stuff. And, um, so there's everything there when they come out of school, there, basically. Definitely. Everything's there for them. And if they want to use a gym and get fit, I mean, nowadays, kids are obese. I mean, boxing is one of the best fitnesses for you, yeah, fitness yeah. trainings for you. So yeah. I get a lot of kids coming there. Uh, we've had the police uh, services trained there, the fire services trained there. So we get a lot of uh, a lot of people from the community. So I wanted to give something back because boxing has changed my life around, you know, so yeah. uh, that's what I did, yeah. Yeah, but you're still fighting, of course. You won a big fight earlier this year. Yes. And the rumour is that you're going to fight Mayweather shortly. <laughs> now, Ricky Hatton says you're the only bloke that can do it. So. Is it true, and what will be your tactics? Well, yeah, you know, we all know Mayweather is one of the best fighters in the world, and yeah. my, my, my dream is to fight someone like Mayweather, and to be someone like Mayweather will be amazing. Uh, Rick is a good friend of mine, and I saw when he, got, when, he, when he fought against Mayweather and got beat, 
I mean, you know, to beat Mayweather, you have to fight him at his own game. You have to be smart. You, you can't make any mistakes. And yeah, yeah. I think the key to beat him is speed. Um, but you know, let's think, let's hope, fingers crossed, we can get the fight. Yeah. Because um, it's quite, it's really it, logistically, it's really difficult to make these things happen, isn't uh, it? It is. I mean, it's not as easy as like it used to be. You know, you can, if if I want to fight Mayweather, it can be done. I mean, nowadays you have to get the contracts done. Yeah. Uh, where's the fight going to happen? Who? I mean, you know, there's so much changes again, and in the contracts that are going to happen. Yeah, but yeah, at the yeah. moment, there's a lot of talk about the fight happening, and I've left it to my promotion team. Go so you're promotion. up for it. I'm up for it. So if he's watching, if he's watching, let's get it on. <laughs> but yeah, we, we're not, we, we're quite close of getting yeah. it done, hopefully. Good. And Alfie, more of a singer than a fighter. Uh, yeah, 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 that. absolutely. And I, was you having, are... I was having my makeup put on, and I, it didn't do anything for my masculinity having a mere card in the room <laughs> while I was having my makeup put on for this program. It was you're ridiculous. You're not wearing makeup, are you? Are you not? Are you not wearing makeup, are you? Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> um, so you've got this new album out called yes. Trust. Yes, yes. Lots of popular songs on it, and not so much opera this time. Yeah, no, it's, it's in a different direction this time. I've gone a little bit down the country route and the. Uh, there's a gospel element to it as well, so it's a different direction. But it's it's, it's music that I grew up listening to and, and that I love, you know. And, and I I think the feel that we got in the studio putting this music down on on discs really transfers when yeah. to the listener, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, I mean, you, you've taken a step in the drama direction as well because I have, man. Yeah. You're in Mr. Sanford. I'm not in crime watch or anything <laughs> like that. It's <laughs> definitely no. I'm uh, I've um, done uh, Mr. Selfridge. Yeah, I've been in an episode of Mr. Selfridge, so I'm. I'm Looking forward to how, that. How was it? It was great. It was. I mean, it's something that I'm not really that used to because I'm not a screen actor. Yeah. I've n I didn't do. I've not done much of it. But the, the cast really brought me in and helped me out and encouraged me and made me part of the team. It was. It was. It was wonderful. Yeah. Loved yeah. every minute. Is it going to be a bit more acting then? I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. I hope so. I'm, I'm, it's. A, it's a direction that I really want to try and aim at. You know, heading. Heading. Brilliant. Okay. Thank you. Now, um, we're joined by uh, two of the wonderful members of Team Rickshaw. Now, earlier, Daniel, we said that we might have a little treat for you. Uh, we still might, so bear with us for now. But, uh, Carol, first of all, has this turned out the way that you thought it would? I mean... Um, it's just been amazing. Yeah. I didn't know really what to expect, and it's just... It's a chance in a lifetime, it's brilliant. But and, it's... and has Daniel reacted in the same way as you thought he would? Has he surprised you in any ways? He has, he's loving it, he's yeah. so excited about it, and he's, he's really putting the effort in, it's, it's really nice, yeah. but it's all very emotional sometimes yeah. when stuff happens. And you've put so much effort in yourself, Carol, that's what we mustn't forget. How have you found out the legs? Well, they're not too bad. <laughs> Um, some of the hills, as long as you get a downhill bit afterwards. Yeah. Yes. Poor Carol, we, you're known as the hill magnet. Because every time you get on, <laughs> the hills just arrive. It's remarkable. Yeah, it. yeah. But yes, so let's talk to the man himself. Yes. So, Daniel, we heard that you're a big fan of Liverpool. Yes. So we've got a very special letter from you, for you. And Alfie is about to read it to you. Here, Here we go, Daniel. It says, Dear Daniel, I just wanted to drop you a short message to wish you all the best for your ritual challenge in aid of children in need. To be able to do this after everything you have been through is a credit to your determination not to let things hold you back. You are a true inspiration. I have included a signed shirt for you which is just a token of my respect for you, what you are doing and what you can achieve in life. You'll never walk alone. Good luck, Stephen Gerrard. What about that, Daniel? <laughs> Daniel, we had that little chat, didn't we, about how people will be watching and taking note, and now your hero has written that to you. Brilliant. Wow. That's the first time he's lost for words. <laughs> such a chatterbox. You just can't believe it. Good lads, good lads. Well done, Daniel. Um, well, Alfie is going to sing for us in a moment and for all the good people of Bolton who turned up to us. Yes, yes. Tell you, this, this is ultimate busking. Yes, thank you. Shall we have a bit, bit more music? Shall Why we have? not, man? Yeah, well, while we've got Alfie Bo here, let's have some live music. Here is Alfie Bo singing from his album Trust. Trust! <laughs> Hoops and we dance on wires. Walk on broken 
glass and play with fires. Oh, we're blindfolded when we turn on the light. I know that everything will be all right. If you trust in true love and trust in time, trust in forever, trust this heart of mine. We can lose ourselves just like lovers do If you trust in me like I trust in you Trust in me like I trust in you Trust in true love and trust in time Trust in forever, trust this heart of mine we can lose ourselves just like lovers do If you trust in me like I trust in you Trust in me like I trust in you Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's Thanks, lads. Good. That was lovely stuff. Lovely. OK, now, so we have got the mayoress. We've got the mayor here. And Mia's up here. Oh, and here comes Santa Claus with a lovely, lovely present, a large switch. Thanks for coming. We know it's a very busy time of year. So, right, ladies and gentlemen, quiet, quiet, quiet. Let's lose the street lights and have a countdown from five, four, three, two. Amia, get in there. Amia, turn the lights on. Get in now, please. Beautifully, we'll be leaving very shortly. Let's find out who is going to be riding the rickshaw out of town. Alex, my dear. 